We're back now to the uh, Child Care Summit and the Prime Minister has ordered a meeting of unions and to discuss problems of low wages for workers and rising costs for families. Nada Gilmore reports from Canberra. They've got her attention <laughs> and Julia Gillard's ready to listen but isn't making any promises yet. The Prime Minister says childcare is already more affordable than ever under her government. A family earns $75,000 a year. They've got one child in long daycare. That used to take 13% of their income. Now it takes 7.5%. That's little comfort to those paying the bills. I work full time and basically my whole salary goes towards paying for childcare. Care. Increase the childcare rebate. It's pretty difficult for families at the moment. I think we're all struggling. A survey released this week by the childcare union shows fees have jumped by 11% this year. On average, parents pay $70 a day, some up to $120. It's those figures that have the Prime Minister looking at other options. The aim here is to uh, respond to parents' concerns about fee increases and affordability. Childcare providers, workers, and their union are taking part in today's summit. Staff pay and retention is also in the spotlight, with figures showing an exodus of workers from the sector up to 180 a week. Our number one fundamental issue is really the government's got to get on board and fix the wages in this sector. It's not for me to uh, strike an hourly rate for childcare workers. We've created a fair system of workplace relations. Julia Gillard's not giving away much at all about what action the government might take. She has ruled out caps on childcare fees, hinted at better training to help retain staff and says paying subsidies directly to childcare centres is one of many options on the table. She's not promising a quick fix, saying any outcomes are months away. Nada Gilmore, ABC News, Canberra.